Bangsa mo, one o one. Mga kongkritong kaalaman tungkol sa mga ganapan at talakayan ng mga mambabatas na binubuo ng membrong Bangsamoro Transition Authority ng Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Mga usapin tungkol sa kahalagahan ng bawat posisyon na bumubuo ng istruktura ng Parlamento ng Autonomong Region ng Bangsamoro. Magpapaliwanag ng bawat batas na naisumiti upang higit na maunawaan ng mamamayang Bangsamoro. Magsusubaybay sa mga bawat hakbang ng mga mambabatas bilang mahalagang bahagi ng progresibong pag-angat ng Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Bangsamoro 101 Hangad po naming maibahagi sa lahat ng ating mga kababayan. Mula dito sa Maguindanao, makapaghatid ng impormasyon tungkol sa Bangsamoro Parliament, maging sa loob at sa labas ng Barm Areas, buong Pilipinas at sa lahat ng naaabot ng ating programa. Bangsamoro 101ng BTA Office ni MP Rasul Y. Mitmog Jr. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa rahato. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Uh, ito po ay isang bagong programa, Bangsamoro 101, hatid ng aming opisina. Uh, ito pong Bangsamoro 101 ay tatalakay ng mga usapin tungkol ng RA 11054 o yung tinatawag natin Bangsamoro Organic Law. Uh, Pag-uusapan din dito yung mga batas na uh, pinapasa natin dyan sa Bangsamoro Transition Authority o pinagdedebatihan. Uh, ito din yung mga resolution dyan sa, sa Bangsamoro Transition Authority. Pag-uusapan din natin. Uh, samahan nyo po kami isang oras po to. Uh, minsan, uh, Uh, monologue po ito uh, kasi ang pag-uusapan natin key concepts about Bangsamoro, Bangsamoro government. Pero uh, most of the time, madami po tayong mga kasama galing sa BTA uh, para pag-usapan itong mga bagay na to At ganun din, mag-invita din tayo ng mga eksperto uh, sa mga topic na pag-uusapan natin para mas maintindihan natin to. Alam natin na madami na din mga ginawang ganitong klaseng programa, mga webinar. Uh, anong naiba dito? Uh, yung mga kasamahan po natin, si Ma'am Noor Ayn, si Haron, at si Abdul Aziz, uh, sila po ay mga locals po natin na kasama. So, ibig sabihin, nakakapagsalita sila sa lingwaheng Bangsamoro. Isa na dyan is yung uh, Iranon, yung Maguindanao, at Maranao. So, mas mapaintindi po natin sa ating mga kababayan. So, samahan niyo po tayo at sabay-sabay po tayong matuto uh, tungkol po dito sa Bangsamor. Auzubillah na shaitan ni Rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Ito po ang yung lingkod Norain Ibad Lambitan. At samahan niyo po kami sa 29th episode po ng ating programang Bangsamoro 101 ngayong araw August 12. 2021, ayan na, uh, salamu alaikum. Assalamu uh, alaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, binabati ko pa yung mga kababayan natin dyan sa Malaysia at mm. namumuhay. Mm. Nag, uh, salam pagi kepada saudara, saudari kita di sana yang beragam. Islam datila, berkawi, sikara, sida, salam di sana. And binabati ko rin yung mga taga kababayan natin dyan sa sa mga Lanao del Sur, salam ko, salam ka nuro ka ano langon, agusi sa kwan, bang sa Moro areas, and sa mga new po kami sa loob ng isang oras mula lunes hanggang biyernes alas dis hanggang alas onse po, ako po si Abdul Aziz Monte. Aku juga bilai mina saya tahun rajin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma rabbi sahli sadri wayasirli amri wakhlul uqdatan min lisani wafkahu kaulina. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
Uh, sa lamang ko, so mga babo bapa abang magkikinig ka nun ba radio station tano abang sa moro, ah uh, radio program abang sa moro 101 uh, mapia mapita mapia mapita, mapia mapita hmm. ito po ang inyong lingkod Harun Sakilan, wa assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh yun, ah mga kaibigan uh, tayo ay sobrang nagpapasalamat sa mga tuloy-tuloy na umaantabay po sa ating programang Bang Samoro 101 at uh, naway nakakapaghatid po tayo ng mahalagang impormasyon at kaalaman mula po sa ating uh, Bangsamoro government. At uh, yun, kahapon na uh, kasamang hack ay uh, na, napag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa sport, Commission of Sports, no? Sports Commission of the Bangsamoro. At uh, na-miss natin yung partner natin at alhamdulillah dumating na siya. Yes, King? <laughs> yes ma- partner, no? At tayo ay insya Allah ay mabuti-buti. <laughs> Alhamdulillah no nakasama natin muli yung isa sa mga kasama natin dito no sa uh, dito sa radio program natin no Alhamdulillah King at uh, naway uh, uh, yung mga mga bagay na gusto mong uh, matupad ay matupad mo Alhamdulillah Inshallah no <laughs> Ano yun ano yun uh, parang <clears throat> napaano ako ah Yan uh, kahapon napag-usapan natin yung uh, patungkol sa mga sports Mm-hmm. At uh, nabanggit nung ating panauhin no, si Sir uh, Saban mm-hmm. na meron silang mga sports na talaga namang na-identify nila na to, kumbaga meron, meron silang uh, inam, no? mm-hmm. pag-asa na talagang gusto nilang tutukan lalong-lalo na pagdating sa sports ng uh, basketball, volleyball dahil nabanggit ni Sir Saban kahapon ay uh, talagang magaling tayo doon no? mm-hmm. magaling tayo doon mga nangunguna yun yes. na mga sports sa yes. atin oo uh-huh. Okay. Pinaka most na tinatangkilik yun dito sa atin. Ayan. So mga kaibigan, at uh, yun binabati din natin ng mga taga Sports Commission and also yes. ang kanilang uh, chairperson si Sir Numan uh, Kaludtia. Yes. Oh, at so, pati na rin kay Sir uh, oh, naman. Alan Saban. Sadam. Mm, Ay Sadam. Sadam. Saban. Oo. Saban. Ayun mga kaibigan, at uh, ngayong araw naman po ay uh, pag-uusapan po natin ang uh, isa po sa pinakamahalaga din na dapat nating mapag-usapan ito po ay tungkol po sa women. Yes. Mm-hmm. Women. At uh, mga kaibigan, uh, pinaunlakan po tayo ng uh, mga kaibigan natin dyan, ano? Uh, mula po sa Bangsamoro Women Commission at binabati natin sila dahil nanonood sila ngayon. Oo. Yes, binabati natin, no? Lalong-lalo na yung uh, kanilang head of office, no? Si MP... Uh, ma'am Baynon Karon, wassalamualaikum sa iyo ma'am, mapia mapita mm-hmm. Ayan, and also binabati natin ang kaibigan natin na si Sahara Ali At lahat po nang bumubuo ng uh, Bangsamoro Women Commission And uh, also uh, from the BTA office po ni uh, MP uh, uh, Ma'am Baynon Karon. Yes. At uh, yun mga kaibigan, uh, nasa linya po natin para mas madami pa po Mm, via phone patch nasa linya po natin mga kaibigan ang uh, chief of staff uh, of uh, BTA office ng uh, ni MP uh, Bynon Caron walang iba po kundi si uh, Ma'am Helen Rojas good morning salamu alaikum po ma'am uh, good morning alaikum salam uh, thank you for uh, the invitation and uh, I'm sorry kung hindi ako mm. makapag personal appearance uh, because sa uh, I'm still here in Opo. Sulan. Uh, meron kami um, God Planning and Budgeting with mm-hmm. uh, local government unit. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, welcome po sa ating programang uh, Bangsamoro 101. Ako po si Norain at kasama ko po dito sa studio si King at si Hag. Yes. Assalamualaikum, Ma'am. Good morning po, Ma'am. Salam. Hi. Opo, ayan na, uh, hopefully ay uh, safe po tayo dyan ma'am dahil alam po namin na nasa biyahe po kayo but uh, alhamdulillah kahit papano ay nagbibigay po kayo ng oras upang maibahagi po sa ating mga tagapakinig ang uh, itong tatalakayin natin ngayong araw tungkol po sa uh, Commission's Mandate, Programs and uh, Bangsamoro Women Agenda. Okay. Ah. Opo. So, uh, ito po ma'am, uh, alam po natin na meron din po ng uh, programa ang uh, Bangsamoro Women Commission But uh, of course, uh, para mas pang malawakan din 
Um, uh, mapag-usapan din po natin dito sa ating Bangsamoro 101 via DXMM 107.3 Magnet FM ang uh, programa po ng uh, BWC. So, uh, ma'am, ito po, ano po ang mandato ng uh, Bangsamoro Women Commission at uh, yung mga major uh, uh, programs po ng uh, BWC? Uh, yung Bangsamoro Women Commission, siya yung uh, policy making, coordinating, and uh, monitoring body in the farm mm. in terms of women and uh, gender development. No? So, uh, specifically, yung kanyang mandates ay uh, mm. siyempre yung uh, yung pagpupromote at pagpuprotect sa karapatan ng mga kababaihan. Opo. And dahil uh, tayo ay may commitment under mm. the Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Mm-hmm. So, si Bangsamoro Women Commission din ay uh, dapat nakatutok sa pag-eliminate mm-hmm. ng lahat ng klase ng diskriminasyon sa mga kababaihan. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, kailangan ding uh, ma-insure, i-insure ni BWC yung um, uh, promotion, promotion ng gender justice, yes. women's rights and welfare, through institution of uh, legal measures. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, yung pang-apat at yung pinaka-importante ay uh, pag-promote ng gender and development. At mm-hmm. kasama dito sa gender and development is yung um, promotion of gender equality and women empowerment. So, so pag sinabi natin women empowerment, that that uh, we are referring to uh, women's meaningful participation um, mm-hmm. in all levels of governance, uh, policy okay. and decision making. No? So, ito yung participation na na uh, i-insure natin na merong uh, mga papae uh, nagpa-participate mm-hmm. sa policy and decision making no so yung participation nila hindi mm-hmm. lang yung uh, may mga babae na kaupo uh, para lang masabi may mga mm-hmm. participation ng mga kababayan no? so pag sinabi nating meaningful participation we mean that uh, women are able to mm-hmm. uh, articulate the the agenda of women uh, women are able to influence mm-hmm. the the process and outcome of uh, any policy and decision making. So, so uh, yan yung ano, yan yung uh, mandato ni Bangsamoro Women Commission. Mm-hmm. Now, yung mandate naman niya ay um, uh, ino-operationalize niya through implementation of uh, programs. No? Mm-hmm. So, um, there are two major programs na kinu-coordinate ni WC. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first is yung gender and development uh, mm-hmm. planning and budgeting. No? So, mm-hmm. dahil si BWC yung uh, oversight, uh, provides oversight function in terms of gender and development. Mm-hmm. So, um, si BWC ngayon ay ini-insure niya na uh, lahat ng ministries, offices, and agencies ay mm-hmm including local government units are okay. implementing mm-hmm. implementing uh, a gender and development and um, judiciously mm-hmm. spending yeah. their five uh, percent cut budget no? mm-hmm. so uh, ibig sabihin dalawa yung tinitingnan dito ni BWC mm-hmm. yung uh, content mismo ng yung plano mismo Mm-hmm. And at the same time, yung financial aspect niya. No? So, yes. yung financial aspect is ensuring na judiciously spent mm-hmm. yung God Fund. And uh, yung pagdating sa content niya, ng plano mismo ay ini-insure niya na dapat um, in accordance yung mga programs, mm-hmm. projects, activities, and other interventions ng mga mm-hmm. bawat ministry at bawat LGU mm-hmm. ay naka-align sa mandato ng mga opisina. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, um, at the same time, mm-hmm. uh, in accordance with the guidelines, no? kasi merong mga, meron tayong guidelines on what can be and what cannot be charged uh, against a 5% cut budget. No? So, mm-hmm. um, under the gender development din, uh, kasama dun sa, sa program is uh, ensuring na, uh, especially in this period of transition, ma-mainstream yung gender and development. No? Kasi, mm-hmm. Um, diba, we have uh, uh, each ministry or each okay. uh, local government unit meron siyang total annual budget. Yes. Okay. So, yung 5% of that budget mm-hmm. should be programmed for gender and development. Mm-hmm. So, that is, ano, that is uh, uh, 
complying to the to to to, to the directive mm. to the law about the Charter of Women, uh, the Bangsamoro mm. Organic Law, because uh, expressly provided mm. in the BON uh, at least five percent yes. of each uh, ministry's budget should be programmed for gender and development. Mm-hmm. No? So, mm-hmm. um, so you have the five percent. So hindi lang dapat don yung uh, in, in, yun ang tinitingnan ni BWC, no? So hindi lang dapat ini-issue ni BWC na ma-implement to 5%. But mm. BWC should also ensure na yung programming ng remaining 95% of the total annual budget of each ministry ay ma-program in accordance with a gender perspective or gender mm. lens, no? So and we call that gender mainstreaming. Yes. No, so uh, pag nagawa natin 'yon, ibig sabihin uh, mainstream tayo, no? So mm-hmm. if a certain ministry uh, can program the remaining 94, 95% using gender lens, mm-hmm. so ibig sabihin uh, mainstream yung gender, no? So yan yung ano, yan yung uh, program under gender and development, no? So uh, kasama din dito sa 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 programa ng gender and development is uh, um, iba't ibang interventions like uh, um, uh, program on uh, mm-hmm. women's economic and political empowerment. Opo. Kasi um, right now, mm-hmm. at hindi lang ngayon ha, even nung uh, several years pa, Opo. Mm-hmm. ang pinaka main problem talaga ng mga bang mm-hmm. Samoro women natin is yung um, economic aspect, no? So, uh, majority of our women are living mm. beyond the poverty threshold. Yun. So, yung women from the community and at the grassroots, I, um, they have no sustainable livelihood. Mm-hmm. No? So, um, yung isa is uh, in terms of political empowerment. No? Mm-hmm. So, uh, kung titingnan natin, uh, tingnan na lang natin ngayon sa sa structure ng ating parliament no? sa opo, setup, opo. No? So, mm-hmm. of the 80 members of the parliament we only have 13 mm-hmm. women members of the parliament mm-hmm. no? at, so, isa, opo, at isa na doon oh, yung ating uh, butihing MP na si Ma'am Bayman yes, Caro oh, mm-hmm. so masyadong maliit yung participation mm-hmm. ng ating mga kababaihan, kababaihan na although mm-hmm. uh, uh, tingnan naman natin sa quality of of their participation mm-hmm. mataas yun, no kasi uh, we have a a woman mp who is assistant yes. uh, majority okay. floor leader mm-hmm. so our minority floor leader is also a woman in the person of mp attorney Liza Matsuhod Alamia mm-hmm. opo opo uh, attorney Liza uh, Alamia mm-hmm. then uh, we have a lady attorney general no? so uh uh, these uh, women, although very, mm-hmm. very, there's only very few of them, pero mm-hmm. they are um, able to influence uh, policy and decision-making process in the Bangsamoro Transition Authority. Mm-hmm. So, but, uh, kung pupunta tayo sa community at the grassroots level, um, uh, uh, we have conducted several conversations already, no? Mm-hmm. With the uh, community and grassroots women and yung kalam karamihan sa mga mm-hmm. mga lumalabas na nagsusurface na issue is kapag merong mga uh, programa or proyekto na ini-implement Opo. sa area nila mm-hmm. uh, very seldom yung uh, kinukonsult sila mm-hmm. no? so and very uh, seldom na mm-hmm. uh, they participate mm-hmm. um, in the planning and designing mm-hmm. uh, implementation monitoring and evaluation no? so uh, in terms of conflict prevention naman and conflict mm. resolution no mm. so uh, we are signatory to um, UN resolution 1325 which calls for more women participation in in peace building no so uh, we have already trained a lot of women community women as um, conflict mediators mm. no um, pero um pagbalik nila sa mga respective communities nila, so, siyempre, capacitated na sila. Yes. So, when they go back to their respective communities, ang sabi nila, hmm. underutilized pa rin yung role nila. Hmm. So, kung may nire-refer sa kanila ng mga, hmm. ng mga issues or conflict, ito yung mga conflict involving petty issues lang, no? Like, uh, hmm. away ng magkapitbahay, hmm. uh, 
tungkol sa basura <laughs> or um, away na magkapitbahay kasi mm-hmm. lumampas yung ginawang sampayan ni neighbor A doon sa teritoryo ni neighbor B so mm-hmm. nag-away sila. So mm-hmm. sa mga ganong kasing conflict lang yung nire-refer sa kanila. Pero mm-hmm. yung mga conflict of complex nature like Rido, for example, mm-hmm. uh, Okay, so uh, balikan natin si ma'am uh, Naputol yung linya natin mga kaibigan Ayan, so uh, balikan natin si ma'am uh, Marami, isang tanong pa lang tayo Ay uh, halos uh, na ano na no Ang dami nang uh, na i-share sa atin si ma'am Yes ma'am, uh, sige po oh, Yes, oh. so uh, again So uh, yung mga conflict of uh, mm-hmm. complex nature like Rido mm-hmm. Di nire-refer sa kanila mm-hmm. Pero pag darong mga uh, Merong mga pag-uusap para sa pag-resolve dito mga ganitong klaseng conflict, hini-invite din naman daw sila. Mm-hmm. Pero, mm-hmm. as witnesses lang. Okay. So, mm-hmm. oh, as witnesses lang. No? So, sabi, they do not directly take part in the negotiation. Mm-hmm. So, okay. so, yan yung, yan yung um, isa, isa mga issues na uh, ina-address natin ngayon under mm-hmm. uh, Gender and Development Program. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah. the yeah. other major program na ino-oversee ni BWC is yung implementation natin ng Regional Action Plan on Women's and Security. Mm-hmm. No, so, again, itong um, RAP WPS natin, uh, this is the operationalization of our commitment under UN Resolution 1325, yung sinabi ko nga, uh, mm-hmm. calling for more women participation in conflict prevention and peace building. Mm-hmm. And, uh, UN Resolution 1820, no, so which uh, which directs all parties to conflict to cease and desist from committing acts of sexual violence against um, women and girls in situations of armed conflict. No, so ito yung plano na ang tinutukunan niya mm-hmm. yung una, uh, ensuring na maraming mga babae meaningfully participating mm-hmm. in this process and pangalawa, ensuring na um, ma-prevent itong pang-aabuso mm-hmm. sa mga kababaihan na nasa konteksto ng kaguluhan. Opo. So, ito yung, ito yung uh, tinututukan ng ating RAP WPS. Now, uh, yung ating RAP WPS was uh, launched in October last year. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yung ating mga ano, yung ating mga ministries ay um, uh, dahil duty bearers tayo, they have commitment under the Regional Action Plan on Women is Security. Mm-hmm. No, so, yung ating RAP WPS, meron niya siyang four pillars. No? So, yung first two pillars natin, um, mm-hmm. protection and prevention for pillar one, pillar two, empowerment and participation, ito yung uh, substantive pillars. No? So, yung pillar one natin, protection and prevention, that is our response to uh, Resolution 1820 on sexual violence. Then, yung pillar 2 natin, uh, empowerment and participation, that is our response to 1325 on uh, women's participation naman. Yung other two support pillars natin, pillar 3, that's promotion and mainstreaming, ito yung uh, pagpapalaganap, mag-insure na yung women peace and security agenda ay uh, makaskate down to the barangay level Opo. at... Uh, paano natin uh, ma-implement yung commitment natin, yung ating human peace and security agenda mm-hmm. by integrating it sa gender and development plans and budget. Mm-hmm. Kasi wala tayong separate na fund for women peace and security agenda. But mm-hmm. we have a fund uh, for gender and development. Yes, that's the that's 5%. 5%. Okay. So, Uh, at the national level, in 2014, may itilabas na joint memorandum circular mm-hmm. between the Philippine Commission on Women and the Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process. No? So, nakalagay sa JMC na yon na lahat ng offices, mm-hmm. uh, government offices, government line agencies implementing the PAMANA mm-hmm. and operating in conflict-affected and conflict-vulnerable areas kailangan i-integrate nila yung women peace and security sa kanilang God plans and budgets and God accomplishment reports. Kasi nga, mm-hmm. yun yung may yun yung may fondo, yes. yun yung may mm-hmm. resource, no? yung ating God plans. And, yung women peace and security agenda din naman kasi, mm-hmm. ang framework niya ay uh, yung framework din ng gender development, no? so gender equality and human empowerment. No? So, that's the, that's the framework. Mm-hmm. 
uh, kinagamit ni mm-hmm. Women Disability Security Agenda. So that's why yung ating regional action plan, yung implementation niya ay nakakarga sa uh, mm-hmm. 5% general development mm-hmm. budget natin. Oh, okay. Ayun, so yung ating RAP WPS ay kailangan i-localize siya, no? So by localization, we mean na dapat yung five provinces ng BARM ay magkaroon sila ng kanilang provincial action plan on women mm-hmm. and security which the BWC is uh, now uh, doing no or or facilitating or in coordinating no so uh, Maguindano province uh, mm-hmm. already has its own uh, provincial action plan at WPS and yung next in line namin is yung Lanao del Sur okay. so by next week August 17 we are set to um, to uh, convene the Lano del Sur uh, RAP WPS Technical Working Group para i-review yung kanilang uh, provincial action plan. Mm-hmm. Kasi this is not the first time that the five provinces will be implementing their respective PAP WPS. Okay. So, uh, nags- nagsimula yung localization uh, noong 2012 pa. No? So, uh, during the first, the implementation of the first cycle of the Philippine National Action Plan. So, yung Philippine National Action Plan in 2012, but it was localized, ang naging pilot area is yung ARMM. Mm. So, ang resulta nun ay nag-come up, nag-implement ng kanilang respective provincial action plans, yung five provinces. Mm. So, uh, ngayon, uh, babalikan natin yung kanilang mga respective PAP WPS, i-review ano ba ang to take stock of the gains, gaps and challenges uh, para sa pag-update at pag-formulate ng kanilang second cycle already ng uh, provincial action plan. So again, next in line namin is Lano del Sur, mm-hmm. then uh, by September yung basulta. No, so in one setting lang yung basulta and that will happen sa ipil. Kasi nga, hindi tayo pwedeng bumaba, pumasok sa mga... Yes mga iba't ibang provinces. Yes, so, yun hmm. yung two major programs na ino-overthink ngayon ni uh, Pagsaboro Women Commission. Mm-hmm. Ayan, ma'am. Uh, ito din po, uh, specifically, no, kasi meron, meron nga uh, nagaganap na mga uh, empowerment para sa women, no, sa community. Uh, yung uh, nabanggit po ni ma'am kanina ay uh, papaano po ito uh, kasi uh, sayang naman kung uh, hindi makakapag-participate ang women like uh, hanggang ano lang uh, petty conflicts lang ano at uh, supposedly yes. dapat mm-hmm. uh, they are being empowered through the Bangsamoro Women Commission and uh, supposedly they are part of uh, resolution ng uh, like credo pang malawakan na ito and other uh, medyo mas ano pa uh, malalang uh, sitwasyon na kakailanganin and uh, Kasi magiging tuloy-tuloy, I think magiging tuloy-tuloy po yung uh, programa ni BWC in Empowering Women. But uh, paano po ito? Anong magiging case nito? No? Sitwasyon nito, King and Hack, na uh, hindi rin makakapag-participate ang women natin hanggang ano lang, uh, petty conflicts. Uh, any other reinforcement or uh, other programs po si uh, BWC? Para naman makaupo din si uh, women... Uh, not only as a listener, but uh, someone na pakikinggan din, ma'am, no? Um, actually, yung, yung Pillar 3, Pillar mm. 3 ng RAP WPS, that's promotion and mainstreaming. Mm-hmm. No, so, kasama doon sa mga strategies under Pillar 3 ay, kasi ang pinaka, ang problema kasi, um, ang problema kasi, ha, uh, frankly, mm-hmm. no, and honestly, mm-hmm. uh, kulang tayo pagdating sa buy-in buy-in ng uh, women peace and security buy-in ng ating mga um, leaders no especially yung ating mga local leaders mm. no so uh, dahil yan sa uh, kulang yung appreciation nila sa mm. gender and development mm. no so uh, yung dalawa yung tinitingnan namin ano dito strategy mm-hmm. first one uh, uh, yung 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 main track talaga is ano uh, magkakaroon, magkakandak ng massive uh, advocacy, massive advocacy. Uh, and infor- information on uh, women with a security agenda or on specifically on mm-hmm. the role of women in peace building. Mm-hmm. No? So, 
Uh, pero ito, yung strategy na to is in partnership with the Ministry of Interior and Local Government. Mm-hmm. Kasi sila yung may oversight sa ating mga local government units. Okay. So, kay MILG, wala tayong problema kasi mm-hmm. talagang uh, understood nila, appreciated nila, and mainstream sa kanila yung WPS. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan lang talaga siya ibaba at ipaintindi mm-hmm. sa ating mga local leaders to get their buy-in at para na rin ma-generate natin yung kanilang uh, support. No? So, kailangan lang mapaintindi sa kanila, mm-hmm. ma-appreciate nila ano ang kahalagahan mm-hmm. para makuha natin yung buy-in nila at saka yung support nila. Okay. Then, yung pangalawa naman is uh, uh, para, mm-hmm. para makuha uh, we have, uh, nila at saka yung Ang iniisip kasi na namin is to issue a policy. So, uh, mandating the participation of women in in uh, conflict resolution no? whether uh, and, pag, and by conflict resolution yun, ito yung mga rito mm. um, uh, violent conflict between um, security sector and non-state actors no? pero um, ano yan we realize mm. na kuperasahin natin sila yes uh, mas maganda yung uh, uh, kung saan nilang gagawin dahil naiintibihan nila at appreciate nila. Opo. So, and and uh, although ma'am, uh, naiintindihan po natin na ano, ito po ay talagang we are really empowering the women and uh, that's through the Bangsamoro Women Commission. Although in the uh, regional perspective natin dito sa BARM and because B- this is a Bangsamoro Autonomous Region for Muslim Mindanao at nakaugalian talaga siguro natin na uh, yun na, um, uh, laging second line yung uh, kababaihan pagdating sa decision bico- making because uh, still men are uh, ano uh, yung culture natin na ganun uh, being a bang- yes, bang Samoro uh, and uh, aside from being a Muslim na laging uh, we still uh, uh, respect the decision of our men before us as a women Opo, although uh, that's a perspective uh, regionally uh, might not be uh, equally the same with an international perspective of uh, women empowerment. Baka in the process of uh, gradual massive advocacy na talaga namang women nowadays are really empowered, ma'am. Uh, hmm. Actually, at the international level, and in the context of other hmm. countries, uh, we have similar problems. Eh. Uh, hmm. In fact, when the Alright, so uh, ayan, uh, balikan natin si Mama, no? <laughs> ayan, uh, para maklaro din natin mga kaibigan, King and Hak, no? Uh, talagang uh, maraming, maraming na isi-share maraming. sa atin si yes. Mama. Oo. So ayan, ayan, humihingi kami ng pasensya Mama at napuputol-putol po yung okay ano natin. Lang, uh, yeah, ayan, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, again, as I was saying, mm-hmm. sa context ng ibang countries, Opo. I, uh, we are, they, they are they are also facing the same problem. Mm-hmm. No? So, mm-hmm. in fact, in, during, in, when the UN Secretary General rendered this report mm-hmm. on the status of, of 1325, talagang uh, noted doon na despite the, ano, several efforts to really ensure women's participation, mm-hmm. mababa pa rin. Mababa pa mm-hmm. rin talaga yung participation ng women mm-hmm. no? in, in, in uh, conflict uh, resolution and in peace building. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't know uh, mm-hmm. kung paano natin uh, ma- I don't know how mm-hmm. we can achieve, attain significant milestone pagdating dito. No? So, mm-hmm. tama naman yung sinasabi ko kasi uh, yung, yung tradition natin, yung Opo. kinalakihan natin, yes. uh, we are basically patriarchal. No? So, mm. uh, in fact, pagdating sa usapin ng gender and development, gender in the context of Islam ay iba. No? Ibang mm-hmm. iba. So, yung role ng lalaki mm-hmm. sa usapin gender in the context of Islam ay, ay yung role ng babae at lalaki ay always linked to the family dynamics. No? So, Gender and development in Islam is always linked to the family dynamics. So, mm-hmm. men are seen as protectors and as providers. Mm-hmm. So, women mm-hmm. are seen as uh, keepers of the home mm-hmm. and as submissive wife. Mm-hmm. No? So, mm-hmm. yan, yung, yan, yung, <laughs> ano, yan yung gender in the context of Islam. No? Mm-hmm. Kaya, kaya um, mahirap nating um, ma-achieve yung uh, certain level na talagang meaningfully participating yung mga women. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are pushing for women's participation and policy and decision-making, but we are not 
saying na we are going against the teachings of Yun. of Islam no mm-hmm. so uh, marami nakaka-misinterpret nakaka-misunderstood niya no so mm-hmm. parang um, they will have to understand that even the prophet himself the prophet Muhammad no which we are him uh, during his lifetime his chief advisor was his wife si mm-hmm. Khadija mm-hmm. no so uh, that alone would tell us that um uh, He recognized, even the prophet himself recognized the significant role of women in policy and decision making. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yan, oo. Opo. Ayun. So, uh, dahil dyan, ma'am, uh, may uh, katanungan si Kasamang King? Yes po, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Um, yes po, no, sa ating uh, in terms of Bang Samro Women's mm-hmm. and Commission, mm-hmm. ay, Karamihan po ay eh, marami, marami po mga Muslim ay paano po nagwo-work yung co- collaboratively ang mm-hmm. WBC with the regional Darul Ifta uh, ah, para masiguro nor, po ang program nor, po nor ng Women for Muslims. Ah, okay. Ah, yes. So, ayan. Ini- Here ini- po. Uh, paano po nagwo-work po ang collaboratively ang WBC with the regional Darul, ah, Darul Ifta para sa para masiguro ng mga mm-hmm. programa po ng women women for muslim mm-hmm. with the islamic guidance yes actually um, in in all the work in all the works that the bwc Opo. are mm-hmm. doing nandiyan lagi si um, regional darul ifta mm-hmm. so the commission mm-hmm. always consult before mm-hmm. the commission takes any or implement any activity or um, issues a statement lagi mm-hmm. kino consult the bwc regional Darul Ifta. Ayun, may fatwa. No? Mm-hmm. Yes, so, uh, based on, not necessarily on the fatwa, mm-hmm. pero uh, yung mga basis nila, syempre, uh, the Holy Quran. Opo, so, opo. Uh, so, uh, kasi meron silang mga extensive research on women's uh, participation in policy and decision making. No, So, uh, so far in all that we have, uh, uh, in fact, um, in 2019, we mm-hmm. um, nagkaroon tayo ng ano nagkaroon tayo ng uh, women summit um, women summit on women on women's political participation no? so this was uh, organized by OPAP in partnership with the Commission on Elections Central Office mm-hmm. no? so uh, kasi Comel especially that time si Commissioner Guanzon she was the god uh, focal of uh, of Comel talagang she was pushing for Bangsamoro Women's uh, Participation in the Bangsamoro Transition Authority. Um, that, uh, but before she, she pushed that, nagkaroon kami ng parang um, uh, FGD with the uh, Muslim religious leaders. Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi dati, ang, 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 ang take mm-hmm. ni Komelek mm-hmm. ay kasi ito based na rin sa mga pronouncement ng some other some, some other Muslim religious leaders na um, Muslim women cannot mm. participate in politics no so mm. they cannot be they cannot be mayors they cannot mm. be governors mm-hmm. uh, dahil hindi daw allowed no but during that uh, focus group discussion with Muslim religious leaders it was clarified that women, Bangsamoro women, Muslim women can participate in politics. They can be governors, they can be mayors, but mm-hmm. they cannot be heads of state. No? So, mm-hmm. Which means in, in, in the Philippines, for example, Muslim women cannot be president of the Philippines. No? So, uh, yun yung, ano, yan yung guidance uh, mm-hmm. from the uh, Muslim religious leaders that uh, we consulted in uh, No, I, I, that was not 2019. I think that was 2017. Uh, that was the second Bank Samoro Women Summit. No? So that was mm-hmm. still during the time of the defunct ARNM. No? So yun yung, uh, yun yung advice, yun yung guidance from the MRL. No? So mm-hmm. again, uh, in everything that the Commission does, mm-hmm. talagang nandiyan si, ano, si RDI. In fact, uh, mga consultants si Commission, Bank Samoro mm-hmm. Women Commission, yung ating mga some of our MRLs from the regional Darolista. Opo. And our chairperson is always in in mm. uh, consultation with the uh, Mufti. Mm. 
mm-hmm. si Abu Huraira Odasan. Opo, opo. So, uh, they work together talaga, always. Oh, yun. At uh, napakaganda pong uh, malaman din ng ating mga kababayan, ma'am, no? Na nakikinig sa atin ngayon at nanonood. Yes, oh. Nang sa ganun ay uh, malaman din nila na yun nga po, yung mga programa po ni uh, MP Bynan Caron, sa BWC ay talagang uh, with the consultation of the Darul Ifta. At nakikita na po natin ngayon yung uh, strengthening the collaboration between the ministries, uh, with other ministries and other offices. Ayun. At uh, ma'am, si uh, Kasamang Hak ay may follow-up question din po. Yes ma'am, uh, good morning ulit po. No? Uh, bilang Chief of Staff of uh, Office of the MP by Non Karun or BWC, BWC. BWC po, mm-hmm. Ano po ang mga major women issues ang commonly raised by such sector from community di- dialogues and consultation mm-hmm. on your office have been conducted? Ah, no, Amy, hindi ko rin siya masyadong ano, marinig. Ah, ayun, ah yes, ma'am. Uh, ah, hello? Sa, yan, yan. Uh, hello, ma'am? Hello? Yes po. Uh, being the Chief of Staff of Office of uh, Bynon, MP Bynon Caron po or BWC, mm-hmm. Ano po ang mga major women women issues mm. and commonly raised mm. by such sector from community dialogues and consultation on your office have been conducted? Mm-hmm. Po? Yung mga ano nila, no? Ano, ano, ano yung mga common? Common uh, issues uh, raised. Opo, yes, po. mga major uh, women issues and uh, concerns uh, na nakuha niyo po mula po sa mga kinakandak na community dialogues and uh, consultations from the public po. Ah, okay. So, uh, number one, uh, major mm-hmm. issue, poverty. Poverty. Kasi, mm-hmm. Yes, poverty. Mm-hmm. Exacerbated by the impact of conflict. No, so, uh, impoverished na nga sila, lumalala pa yung sitwasyon nila dahil sa paulit-ulit na conflict. No? So, mm. that's the number one issue. Second issue, gender-based violence or vouchy. Mm-hmm. No, so, very prevalent sa atin yung ano, uh, gender-based violence. At the community mm-hmm. level, ang isang mukha ng gender-based violence or vouchy is uh, child early and forced marriage. No, mm-hmm. So, Child marriage is uh, allowed in our context, no? Kasi um, the Holy Quran, uh, and kasama rin yung ating Sharia law, mm. uh, say, say na when the woman or when the girl reaches the age of puberty, Opo. she can already be married mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. No? So, ibig sabihin, kahit 12, 13, 14, 15 pa yan siya, kung uh, she's of the age of puberty na, mm. pwede na siya pwede mag-asawa. Na. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, but then, um, uh, uh, yung child marriage kasi meron siyang ano, um, harmful effects mm. no? and that has been established already mm. may harmful effects siya sa health to sa health. Uh, batang babae mm. no? so um, uh, in fact no? so, so I'll cite one example no? so, yung isang 13 years old na uh, pinakasal sa isang older guy sa kanya from Indulungan Municipality mm. so uh, when Nung nabuntis yung batang babae, then she gave birth, parang the day, a day or two after she gave birth, namatay siya. Kasi, mm-hmm. ikinaya ng katawan niya. Ayun. Yung, syempre, yung mm-hmm. nine months of uh, going through pregnancy, plus mm-hmm. yung pangangalak, no? she gave birth uh, normally. So, uh, ikinaya, um, namatay siya. Apart from that, uh, apart from the child marriage, we also have yung forced marriage involving minors, no? So, hmm. again, uh, I'll try to another concrete example, no? Opo. This also happened in Maguindanao. Mm-hmm. Meron tayong dalawang batang babae from, uh, from that whole for municipality. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the time, at the time that they were raped, uh, 14 and 15 years old sila. So, par- parehong na-rape yun. Mm-hmm. Um, then, nung mag-complain mm-hmm. sila sa barangay, Mm-hmm. So, pinatawag yung, mm-hmm. ano, yung perpetrator. Mm-hmm. No, so, yung perpetrator was given the option, pamili ka, uh, mm-hmm. magbabayad ka ng 100,000 na damage or papakasalan mo yung Ayun. victim. Multa o so, kasal. So, pinili nung perpetrator, yung papakasalan yung victim. Mm-hmm. No, so, that was, that's forced marriage. No, so, mm-hmm. child marriage um, mm-hmm. is allowed in Islam. Kaya lang, 
uh, again, meron siyang harmful effects, especially yeah. sa health. Yes. Yung forced marriage, talagang that is not allowed. Uh, sa Holy Quran, mm-hmm. uh, talagang sinasabi, woman has the right to choose her spouse. So, uh, hindi forcing a girl or a woman mm-hmm. to 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 get to get married or be married of mm-hmm. ayan so uh, talagang uh, maganda yung na-share ni uh, ma'am, ma'am Helen, Helen yes, ano? no? at uh, situation talaga yun actually yun na nakuha ng uh, BWC na situation mm-hmm. oo yes ma'am okay so sana ba ako so as Aba. I was saying mm-hmm. uh, again no child marriage is allowed in Islam. Mm-hmm. But that's why we cannot uh, prohibit it because it's allowed. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what we can only do is to discourage it on mm-hmm. uh, the ground that um, it has harmful effect on the health mm-hmm. of uh, the young girl. Mm-hmm. But yung forced marriage, especially kapag minor, that is totally not allowed in Islam. But it's, mm-hmm. it is happening in our context. No, so, yan yung isang mukha ng gender-based violence na meron tayo dito, very prevalent in the BARM context. Mm-hmm. No, so, um, another mukha ng gender-based violence or violence against women Opo. is yung uh, sexual violence. Mm-hmm. So, sa so national statistics, BARM may have uh, the lowest incidence of uh, violence against women no, reported. Opo. Pero, although maliit lang yung ano, incidence of uh, mababa yung mm-hmm. statistics natin dito pagdating sa VAUSI. Pero, kung titingnan mo naman yung mga nire-report na mga incidents, no? so mm-hmm. you have as young as 3 years old rape mm-hmm. or 4 years old or merong tatlong pagkakapatid, 10 mm-hmm. years old, 7, um, 4 years old, nire-rape ng kanilang tatay. Uh, so yes. when the father was convicted, ang mm-hmm. custody ng mga bata ay pinigay sa kanilang mga uncle. Mm-hmm. No, na relative nila dahil wala ng mother. Mm-hmm. So, kung anong ginawa sa kanila ng tatay nila, ganun din ang ginawa ng uncle sa kanila. No, so, mga ganitong klaseng mm-hmm. uh, itsura mm-hmm. or ganitong klaseng narratives meron tayo pagdating sa violence against women mm-hmm. uh, in, in the barn. No? So, um, this, itong ganitong klase ay nangyayari din sa ibang regions. No? Pero, mm-hmm. dito kasi sa atin, uh, Mm-hmm. This is Bangsamoro, di ba? Opo, opo. Uh, we claim to be Bangsamoro. We are Bangsamoro, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero, uh, ma- masusurprise ka kasi merong, merong mga ganitong klaseng mm-hmm. incident na yes. uh, nangyayari. Nag-i-exist pala siya sa region. At ako nangyayari at the grassroots mm-hmm. level, no? di ba? Mm-hmm. So, uh, miserable. Mm-hmm. So, yan yung, uh, I would say na, two major issues and concerns na, mm-hmm. uh, uh, kinakaharap ng ating mga uh, women. Mm-hmm. No? Ito yung mga common na nag-surface opo, opo. in many of the conversations and consultations that mm-hmm. uh, we conducted at the community level. Opo. At uh, ma'am, ay, yan, nakakalungkot na malaman na may mga ganito palang kaso sa ating rehiyon At uh, on the other side, tayo ay uh, sobrang nagpapasalamat dahil uh, kinakalinga ng uh, Bangsamoro Women Commission mm-hmm. yung uh, mga ganitong uh, kaso, no? May kaso palang mga ganito. So ma'am, uh, meron po tayong, ano no? Uh, meron pong uh, bill si MP uh, Attorney Liza Alamia. Uh, sa, on yes. the parliament about uh, people's uh, uh, women's caucus at uh, ito pong uh, BWC ano po ang uh, support no ng uh, BWC dito po ma uh, actually uh, yung ano yung bill ni ano ni FP Liza Alamia mm-hmm. ay that part of the um, that's one of the uh, results no kasi merong sinunbin na uh, caucus of women at peace opo uh, uh, through facilitation of uh, the Westminster Foundation for Democracy. Mm-hmm. And uh, yung, yung nag-convene nun ay si uh, M.P. Pinon Caron. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. yung isa sa napag-usapan dun, isa sa naging agreement is to formalize sana the caucus of women MP. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was agreed na si M.P. Liza Alamia yung mag-draft at mag-sponsor ng bill. Mm-hmm. So, so, uh, uh, very much uh, supportive uh, si BWC and MP Carol mm-hmm. dyan, no? kasi uh, yan din talaga yung gusto 
uh, mangyari ni Komisyon at ni RT Caro no, pa ma-formalize yung focus of women and peace. No? So, uh, para ma-insure natin na institutionalized talaga yung uh, women's participation mm-hmm. uh, at the policy and, ano, and decision making, no? especially okay. at the um, at the parliament. Mm-hmm. At uh, ito ma'am, nagkaroon po ng uh, Bangsamore Women's Summit ang uh, BWC noong 2019-2020. Magkakaroon din po ba this year, uh, 2021? Actually, may nagkaroon tayo noong nagkaroon. March. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, uh, as uh, part of the culmination ng ating Women's Month celebration. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yes, oh. Um, pero uh, ang title niya kasi Bangsamore Bang Samoro Women's uh, Forum siya. Next forum, ah, okay. that's that summit. Ah, okay. Pero, mm-hmm. yung objective pa rin ay, ano, to uh, mm-hmm. to generate thoughts, insights, reflection um, on what needs to be done further. No? So, parang, ang nangyari doon, uh, stock-taking mm-hmm. of uh, ano na ba yung mga kababalihan natin ngayon, mm-hmm. what needs to be done further. No? So, uh, yun yung naging uh, agenda doon. No? So, yung Taking forum last March uh, mm-hmm. took off from the result of the uh, 2019 uh, Bangsamoro Women Summit. So, so parang tinalikan, tinalikan, mm-hmm. and tinignan ano na ang mm-hmm. nangyari. Yes, yes so, mga uh-huh. changes. Alright, so uh, ma'am, bilang panghuli na po, ay uh, ano po ang may papayo ninyo sa mga kababaihan na dumaranas po ng pang-aabuso o discrimination dito po sa ating uh, rehiyon? Ah... Uh, yung may papayo ko sa sa atin no sa ating mm-hmm. lahat kasi mm-hmm. every one of us uh, yes. in our own way na experience natin yung discrimination mm-hmm. no so mm-hmm. in our own way uh, parang um, let us fight this no so once and for all labanan natin ito mm-hmm. wag natin i-allow na or wag natin i-tolerate na ginagawa sa atin ito no sa so, kasi um, uh, we deserve We deserve to be recognized. Opo. We deserve uh, to be. Uh, we we hindi we, 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 definitely have an impact uh, mm-hmm. sa mga buhay natin. Therefore, uh, it is our right to be heard. No, It is our right mm-hmm. uh, to be able to to articulate, uh, mm-hmm. to lay down our cards and uh, be part of the agenda, yung agenda ng mga kababainan. Yes. So, so, once and for all, uh, wag natin i-allow ito. If there are incidents na uh, Al- alam natin na na-violate yung rights mm-hmm. natin mm-hmm. or na-discriminate tayo uh, nandyan ang Bangsamoro Women Commission lumapit lang kayo and mm-hmm. the commission will uh, will help you mm-hmm. uh, hanggang sa matapos yung ano nyo, battle ninyo Yun. PWC Yun. will walk with you mm-hmm. laban hanggang dulo kasama ang Bangsamoro yes. Women Commission ayan So, uh, Ma'am Helen Rojas, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbibigay ng oras sa Bangsam- Bangsamoro 101. Alam po namin na nasa biyahe po kayo ngayon. Maraming salamat po at uh, ingat po sa biyahe. Mabuhay po ang BWC. Okay. Yes, maraming ma'am. Maraming salamat din, Norin, and sa mga kasama mo, si Kim. Opo. Yes. I forgot the name of the other one. Uh, thank hmm. you very much for inviting me, ha? Okay po. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Ma'am. Okay. Ayun. So mga kaibigan, nakasama po natin ang uh, Chief of Staff from the BTA Office of MP Bynon Caron at naibahagi niya po sa atin ang uh, Commission's Mandate, Programs and uh, Bangsamoro Women Agenda uh, ng Bangsamoro Women Commission sa pamumuno po ng uh, butihing chairperson po ng uh, BWC na si MP Bynon Caron at binabati natin sila dyan, nanonood sila sa atin. Mm-hmm. So ngayon na uh, Time check tayo, King okay. Yes, ang, ang oras po natin ngayong araw ay 10.56 po, no? Uh, yes, partner, no? Alright, so mga kaibigan, dyan lamang po kayo At kami po ay magbabalik pagkalipas po ng mahalagang paalala Bank Samoro 101 Ay hapit sa inyo ng BTA Office MP Rasul Y. Mitmog Jr.
Bangsamoro 101 ay hatid sa inyo ng BTA Office, MP Rasul Y. Mitmog Jr. Bangsamoro 101 ay hatid sa inyo ng BTA Office, MP Rasul Y. Mitmog Jr. Yes. Alright mga kaibigan, tayo po ay muling nagbabalik sa ating programang Bangsamoro 101 At oras po natin ngayon ay 10.57 Halos hindi na huminga itong mga kasamahan ko left and right Dahil interesado silang nakikinig yes, uh, sa no, women kasam oh. Kasamang yan, no, medyo uh, hindi kami napahimik ng todo ni King no? Kasi yes. nga Usapang babae, baka mamaya ah, eh, no. baka mamaya eh, ma-violate natin yung mga Ayun, rules ng babae. Ayun, nag pala kayo. Oo, oh, oh. ganun yun, partner. Oh. At, uh, Pero hindi bali hack kasi kahit naman na uh, women, it's about women yung pinag-uusapan natin. Of course, sa ating region, yes, we always uh, respect yung kalalakihan. Tama yan, kasama oh. ngayon. No? Uh, And that's, ano, that's the teaching of Islam. Yes. Kahit gaano pakagaling ang babae, mas nire-respeto pa din natin. At yes. ginagalang at kinikilala natin yung uh, kakayanan ng kalalakihan. Yes, uh, kagaya ng sabi ni Ma'am Helen Roas, no? uh, uh, dapat bigyan ng espasyo oh, yung mga babae. Ibig sabihin, uh, kilalanin yung mga decision nila. Mm -hmm. So, kami naman dito ni King ay talaga namang ginagawa namin yun. At, yes, uh, at nakikinig tayo uh, sa kanilang yes. payo. At uh, uh, ang maganda doon kay Ma'am Helen, no? lahat ng mga uh, mga explanation niya ay talaga namang mm -hmm. nakabase sa hadith. No? Mm -hmm. Meron siyang uh, pinaghuhugutan. No? At uh, yun, bago natin makalimutan, no? binabating muna natin yung uh, taga Bangsamoro Women Commission of Barm. Uh, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat sa pagpapaunlak sa aming uh, paanyaya ngayong umaga. At uh, yun nga, uh, ibigay na natin yung question of the day. No? Baka mamaya maubusan Pero pa bago ka mag-question of the day, sino yes. nanalo kahapon, King? Ayun. Yes, at nanalo po kahapon. No? Maswerte nanalo po kahapon ay si Akrima Salim Bruce. Uh, Brose. 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 Uh, that audience since what? Yes. Yeah. Mm, congratulations at uh, magandang pakikinig po sa mga kaibigan natin mula dyan sa Brose. Dato yes. Udin Sinsuat. At gusto mo na magtanong? Magtanong yes, ka na. Uh, yun. Ibigay na natin yung katanungan no, para sa 50 pesos, Lord, na pamimigay natin. No? Mm -hmm. uh, ibigay lang ang ibig sabihin ng WBC. BWBC. B -B <laughs> sorry, sorry. BWC, no? Uh, BWC. Yung, uh, ak uh, acronym itong BWC. So, mm -hmm. ibigay lang yung ibig sabihin. Uh, later by later. Oh, Yun lang. Oh. Ayan, yes. basta ang BWC ay pinamumunuan po yan ni MP Bynon Caro. Yes, partner, yes. no? Uh, ulitin ko lang po, no? Ano po yung BW, BWC? Naku, sa mga nanonood ngayon, so, nandyan ang BWC. Yes, oh, para sa ating oh. hotline Pag number, so 967-0258-733. Sige, bilis na po kayo. Sino makakawa na makatext sa ating hotline numbers. At, yes. Uh, muli, Mula po sa Office of MP Rasul Y. Mitmog Jr. Ito po ang yung lingkod. Wassalamualaikum. Wabilahi Taufik. Walhidaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mm -hmm. Yes, at ako naman po si Abdul Aziz Ponte, ang inyong lingkod uh, para po sa ating Bangsa Moroa. Alright, at uh, yan, binabati ko yung uh, nanonood sa atin ngayon si uh, Attorney Toy. Assalamualaikum po, attorney. And also, uh, nanonood din ang Bangsamoro Women Commission. Maraming salamat. At uh, by the way, mga kaibigan, dahil itong uh, BWC ay malawakan din ang kanilang broadcasting ng kanilang mga programa at serbisyo, meron din po silang programang Babae Usap Tayo at Tarbiya Kanupamilya no Bangsamoro. Ayan. So, uh, aabangan nyo din po yung mga programa nila. At uh, gaya po nung nabanggit ni uh, Miss Helen, ay uh, pwede pong lumapit kung may mga problema po tungkol sa kababaihan. Pero wag naman yung tungkol sa problema ng lalaki dahil, uh, no, no? King uh, Ahak. Di ba? Oh, ibang usapan na yun. Oh, oh. Ayan, so mga kaibigan, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nanood sa atin. At uh, naway nakapaghatid tayo ng mahahalagang impormasyon at kaalaman tungkol po sa naging talakayan natin ngayong araw, Commission's Mandate Programs and Bangsamoro Women Agenda. 
Ayan. So, uh, muli maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nakinig at nanood at nag-share. And also, maraming salamat din kay Sahara Kamaong Ali, ang ating kaibigan. Oo, nanonood din siya. At uh, abangan nyo pa, bukas, update, full update po, detailed update yan. Ibabahagi sa atin ni King dahil yun ang naging dahilan kung, wala, kung dahil wala si King kahapon. At ibabahagi niya sa atin bukas yung naging uh, resulta. Uh, output doon sa People's Budget Consultation sa Provincial Capital ng uh, Lano del Sur sa Marawi City. Buli, ito po ang iyong lingkod, nor in ibad lambitan. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuhu. Ito po ang ating programa Bangsamoro 101. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues, honorable members of the Bangsamoro Transition Authority, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ikinagagalak po natin na nasa second reading na po ang Bangsamoro Act, Gazette Act of 2021. Bakit po natin to kailangan? Mayroon po tayong Freedom of Information Act na nagsasabatas ng pagbubukas sa mga, mam sa mga mamamayan ng mga pampublikong dokumento. Uh, ito po ay nakabase sa Bill of Rights Section 7. The right of the people to information on matters of public concern shall be recognized, access to official records, and to documents and papers pertaining to official acts, transactions, or decisions as well as to government research data, Use as basis for policy development shall be afforded the citizen subject to such limitations as may be provided by law. Sa Bangsamoro po, ang Gazette Bill ay naayon sa Bangsamoro Administrative Code, particular sa Book 1, Chapter 12 at 14 na nagsasabi na kailangan natin ma-establish ang Bangsamoro Gazette. Kaya nararapat lamang na magkaroon tayo ng sarili nating pahayagan kung saan natin mailathala ang ating mga batas, resolusyon, at iba pang mga opisyal na dokumento sa print at e-electronic form. Gaya ng official gazette na ginagamit ng national government, itong Bangsamoro Gazette ay ating version kung saan naglalayon na mas uniforme ang pagpapahayag o pag-uulat sa ating mga isinasagawang batas, kabilang na rin dito lahat ng legislative acts, resolution, executive and administrative issuances of general application, and significant Sharia court rulings. Marami po tayong naipasang mga batas, mga resolusyon, na ilalagay po ito sa ating mga website, ngunit, mas mainam na maipabot at maiparating po natin ang ating mga accomplishment at programa sa grassroots level dahil para sa kanila naman itong, mga, itong ginagawa nating lahat. Magiging inclusive po ang ating gobyerno kung, may, kung makikilahok po ang ating mga constituents sa ating mga proseso dahil ito po ang tunay na kaulugan ng self-governance. Nais rin nating maipamulat sa kanila ang ating mga gawain bilang mga mambabatas at public servant. Kung ang nais natin ay epektibo at responsableng pamamahala or moral governance, kinakailangan natin ng in inisyatibong magsusulong ng higit na transparency, pagiging tapat at walang itinatago, 
accountability, pagkakaroon ng pananagutan sa mga opisyales ng gobyerno at partisipasyon ng mga mamamayan sa pamamahala ng ating rehiyon. Ang gaset bill po ay isang maiging paraan para sa kamalayan ng ating publiko sa mga ganap sa ating Bangsamoro government. Sa panukalang batas na ito, ang Bangsamoro Information Office, ARM, ay magiging responsable sa editorial ng gaset, sa koleksyon ng subscription fees at paggawa na at pagmaintain ng official website at ng social media pages. Ang Bangsamoro gaset ay ilathala gamit ang lingwaheng Ingles at kung aplikable ay ang paggamit ng Filipino at Arabic. Ang Bangsamoro Library and Archives naman ay magsisilbing official custodian and repository ng mga dokumento. Napakahalaga po ng malayang pamamahayag at pagpaparating ng impormasyon at paggamit ng isang malaya sa, sa paggamit ng isang malayang lipunan. Idagdag ko lang po na ang panukalang batas na ito ay alinsunod din sa 12-point agenda, agenda ng Bangsamoro government. At ang polisiya ang napinapatupad ng government of the day. Ito po ay yung number four, continuity of existing government services. At number seven, development of enabling policy environment. Nabanggit po ni Chief Minister Ahud Ibrahim, sa kanyang State of the Bangsamoro Address noong opening on the third regular session na kailangan natin magpasa ng mga batas na magkukomplement sa ating Bangsamoro Administrative Code. Isa na po dito ang Bangsamoro Gazette. Panghuli po, gusto ko lang din pong sabihin na every leadership transition should always consider and ensure that the trust of its constituency is strongly built. This would mean that people should have the assurance that government can follow through the vow of allegiance in the agenda that they have instituted, that the public servants will deliver quality and untainted services in consonance to their function, and that the institutions is functional and responsive enough that the citizens themselves are willing to pledge their involvement in the endeavor. Maraming salamat po mga kasama. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Bank Samoro 101 ay hatid sa inyo ng BTA Office, MP Rasul Y. Mitmog Jr.